Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Rage and we are back today with an exciting announcement here in regards to my channel having finally unlocked Odin and he has been brought to the moon as you can see here on my account all the way to gear turn 19 fully leveled up um, as of today. So I mean, I uh, got some gameplay footage of the last attack in my Dark Dimension 8 so that way for you guys um, looking to gain some insight but as well, we also have some arena footage on how he has ca catapulted me back to top 10 and it's it's crazy guys um with him now combined with mephisto in the arena meta i am not even getting attacked it's absolutely astronomical how much of a value add um odin is in combination with mephisto now having said that i think um i don't think he's the most powerful character in the game i think him and mephisto are actually pretty similar it's just they have different mechanics around their kit and i'll show you that in the gameplay footage but i just wanted to share share this with you guys the announcement here as well as kind of talk about a few of his abilities in case you aren't aware so you'll see later on in the gameplay footage one of the first things that he's able to do is using a special uh this is where he's gonna be gaining the charge and when he does have the charge mechanic there's gonna be quite a few things that actually kick in but more importantly uh he has a pretty sizable heal he heals himself and allies for 50 percent of his max hp uh, buffs like offense up defense up speed immunity gets added barrier does get applied as guardian allies as well and what you'll see also by using this ability too, um, you're going to be seeing his constant attacks, which is known as the All Father's Fury. When the All Father's Fury is active, essentially every time he makes a turn, um, he has a passive attack. It's pretty cool to see in action, but as well, he just does so much damage. I'm pretty pumped uh, to start trying him in the in the Mystic section. Uh, I don't have my Night Stalkers built up, but I got my Odin, I got my Fisto, so I'm definitely interested to see if these. Uh, combinations and some sort of uh, theory crafting team can get through the three nodes while building night stalkers up in the meantime i also want to point out his passive here so this is what i was alluding to earlier when he does have the charges um there's quite a few things that do happen right um when he loses his charge he gains 10 ability and ultimate ability energy for himself so that's the big alt that he's going to be using when he's charged he has 100 percent speed his speed cannot be uh, can only be reduced by slow it can't have their speed bar reduction and on top of that when he does have any charge on his um on his uh status he's gaining additional reduction in damage resistance he also can gain defense up uh, safeguard or trauma so it means he is open to all those abilities but the good news is that the big ones being trauma um, is not actually applicable on odin so without further ado guys let me show you now the final attack in my dark dimension 8 node and um, for future reference too i'm going to make a video this week just to show you all the different attempts uh, on the, uh, the the nodes now that culminated uh, his unlock here and then as well a quick little snapshot of how I'm doing right now in the arena meta without further ado let's get started so before my last attack here there was four previous attacks so that means it took about five attacks in total uh, using my teams to go through it and this is a team that worked for me pretty good um, obviously having the big characters like Skrull, Mephisto, Old Man Logan, but I did bring in Gladiator as well as Val, and then I plus minus as well an opportunity if there was a Thanos endgame. So um, this is how I started off the last attack here, using my Mephisto to finish off the Gladiator taunt. Uh, but what you want to be doing is I, I did end up the last node, the last attack here with Odin actually, um, you know, quite weak here. So this is really big. You want to finish him off before he can heal himself up because when he uses that big special that I pointed out earlier, uh, he is an absolute machine. I mean, he basically rejuvenates the entire team. So taking down Odin in this final wave is very, very important um, for the last attack here and uh, es essentially ensures uh, that you have success here um, to get through the rest of Dark Dimension 8. And guys, I, I didn't point this out in my intro, but I also want to uh, highlight once again, I'm um, free to play. So there was no spending for this. Um, it was just the fact that this Dark Dimension was, you know, bottlenecked uh, based on the number of ISO 8 ions that you're earning from uh, the weekly events that they had. So they've obviously done a better, better job. Um, the leaderboards have helped for sure. Uh, they have uh, the Siege on Battle World also upcoming as going to be the dedicated or consistent Ice Wave Purple Generator. So definitely something for sure. Now, guys, as you can see, these are the rewards right here. Boom, boom, boom. Um, lots of Crimson Gear, lots of Purple Weight Crystals and so forth. And, and to be honest, I'm, getting, I'm at that point now where I can just save and hoard because I'm not really bringing up characters uh, to gear tier 19 anymore obviously odin's gonna be that newest addition there but otherwise i am just saving a lot of materials as you can see costing 250 grand uh gold to actually also uh get the unlock here and thankfully uh we were able to actually get the six red on him thanks to um the valhalla milestone event that we had so about 
give or take about six to seven weeks to wrap this dark dimension up. And that's why I don't think it's a true dark dimension because typically the dark dimensions in the past have taken me a few months, right? So uh, it's because the big bottleneck was actually the Isoate Crystals. As you can see, top 3,214 is my final rank here getting through um, with 100% rank. And as you can see, um, a lot of folks have already unlocked, but my TCP is 65 million. Be free to play for reference if you guys are curious. Now, uh, let's head into the arena battle now that I've that has caught up me back into the top 10 now that I'm able to, you know, uh, defend against this. Okay, so thankfully in my arena bracket, um, I think there's only six other players that have Odin. So I would be number seven or number eight, something close to that. Uh, and now I'm going to be targeting every team that does not have Odin because you're going to see how one-sided it is ladies and gentlemen it's super super easy so we start things off with the classic you know mephisto ultimate to apply the exhaust um to the opposing team the mirror match does happen here um and you can see basically we're just going through the motions we have to make sure we get our attacks through i think the only thing you can really do is use mephisto's basic or special after that uh but what's gonna be notable is once it gets to odin's turn you can see he's gonna flip the tide of battle so remember when i said earlier that he has that big special and heal well I should have also mentioned his special can clear the exhaust that actually sits with our allies here. So you can see Odin's turn. He activates a special. Massive cleanse on everyone. The exhaust from a Mephist the enemy Mephisto is gone completely. And um, yeah, we're basically at a fresh slate against a team that has exhaust though. So that's the big difference maker here is the fact that now we have an inherent advantage uh, without having that exhaust uh, being applied to our team. So very, very devastating impact, especially if you have this character in war. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see that dynamic but now that he uses special um that that passive effect that i i, I noted earlier right now odin is gonna be using his passive attacks almost every time he does a turn and that's pretty massive uh, just like that and it does quite a bit of damage we use the basic there you can just see how it's just hurting everyone now we go ahead easy clean up with the mephisto ultimate which reduces their hp permanently and now finally our apocalypse that activated his ult a few turns ago gets his turn but our team is, um, I think um, for the most part, my team is actually under level compared to the enemy team because of the fact that he had higher star levels. But you can see we easily crushed it because that's how much of a difference Odin makes on the team. Um, that needed buff, the cleanse on the exhaust, massive guys. And um, the rank number eight right now, and as like I said earlier, I think there's like six other Mephist, excuse me, Odins ahead of me. But that's okay now. Now I can just defend the top ten and um taking the 500 power cores per day once again and i'm um, just saving and hoarding power cores because the next big thing is going to be astral team guys so stay tuned um this was pretty awesome though just wanted to give you guys all a shout out and i'll let you know of this huge channel update in regards to finally unlocking odin after that uh dark dimension 8 run that was satisfying um not as difficult as i expected but overall still really really good guys so thank you for your time as always let me know what you think comments below and i'll catch you guys in the next one